Five persons were killed in fresh violence in Manipur's Jirabam district early on Saturday. The attack took place in the Nungchapi and Rashidpur areas. According to police, around 5.30 a.m., Kuki militants advanced from Moljol and attacked Nungchapi village. The situation remains fluid as hostilities between the groups persist. This incident happened about a week after Chief Minister Byron Singh appointed BJP MLA Dingang Lung Gangme, who is a Naga by ethnicity, as the peace emissary. The Chief Minister also claimed to restore peace within six months, but Gangme stated that the current situation in Manipur is not suitable for peace talks because of interference from armed groups with personal stakes in continuing the conflict. Multiple peace activists told the federal that both government and non-government efforts to mediate peace have faced pushback from the armed groups representing both Kuki and Methi communities. They are preventing their respective community members and civil society organizations from taking part in peace talks. Two months ago, an NGO organized a private meeting in Shillong to lay the groundwork for peace among Methi and Kuki communities. The meeting had representatives from the Naga community too. But when armed groups from the Methi and Kugi communities learned about the meeting, they warned their representatives against any further peace efforts. According to peace mediators, previous attempts to start dialogue and resolve the 16-month-long conflict between the Methis and Kukis have also been blocked. The burning of Manipur BJP spokesperson Michael Lamjatang Haukip's home in Churachandpur last Saturday was also reportedly linked to his efforts to promote peace. Ashang Kasar from the Forum for Restoration of Peace in Manipur said it's challenging to resolve the conflict due to numerous armed groups. Despite over 50,000 central forces being posted in Manipur, Armed groups continue to operate freely in both Methi and Kuki areas. According to a senior army officer, these groups are extorting large sums of money under the guise of community protection. Experts say neutralizing these armed groups would make it easier to start unconditional talks.